Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Camarocho's Datable Finest with your host, Fuel the Niche, or Nishi Senpai, or you say, or whatever the hell name I decide to say is okay to call me next. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of YouTube's The Dead Souls. On the last session, we started going out with our lovely hostess to the right of Akiyama here. Or left, I guess, from this perspective. That probably makes more sense. Uh, Erica, who has we've been hanging out with for the past uh, episode, and we are now ready to go on another date with her. And hopefully, by the end of this episode, we would have finished her storyline. So I'm very curious to see how this would go. Hello there, Erica. Looking lovely as always. I mentioned it before, I'm gonna mention it again, I'm sorry, I really like that coat. I don't know, something about it just really works. Oh, you came early. I did too, on the same wavelength, I guess. Is it early? Honestly, when I'm going about the city, time's to be, time seems to be standing still, so I can't tell. Oh, one sec, got a call. Yes, hello. Yeah? Seriously? Yes. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Thank you so much. Well, that sounded good, whatever that was. Who was that? The folks from my audition. I made it to the final cut. I'm so stoked. Oh, yeah? That's great. All right, we're celebrating tonight. Let's go all out, Mr. Akiyama. So, where are you taking me? Well, not out shopping, that's for sure. But if you know what, if you just won the your way into the final cut of your modeling audition, I say I'm gonna treat you out to something to eat. Go out to eat, and we are going to have some sushi. Let's go eat sushi at Sushi Jin. <laughs> Great idea. I'm starving too. Let's get going, shall we? The trick is, because she likes clams, that must mean she likes every other seafood available. This sushi place is pretty famous, yeah? I'm excited. Let's head inside. There's some good stuff at this sushi place. There's the Kawami sushi, which doesn't actually exist yet, so I'm not sure if they're gonna have it, but... <laughs> would be kind of funny, but that would be a hell of a... That would be one hell of a, um, spoiler slash... I guess... Hint towards the idea that they would have remade Yakuza at some point. <sighs> right, let's see, um... Thankfully, the place isn't too expensive. Yeah, no, it's actually really simple. It's just literally the name of the food. Hmm. Some of this stuff does look pretty good. Guess I'll go with some Kampachi and some Namataco? Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, this is good. This is also good. Here's your bill, sir. And hopefully my date enjoyed it too. It'd be nice if she gave me a little bit of indication. At the very least, it could have gone worse than our last date, so... At least I got that going for me. Hmm, I feel like I could have eaten a bit more still. Yeah? I'm sorry about that. Nah, thanks for the meal. Ready to head to the club? Her heart didn't go down this time, therefore, by default, it was a better date. That's how I'm going to interpret that in my head. Sure, let's go. Man, I'm not really doing a good job of showing that uh, I can uh, please a woman when I'm going out. Can, can I? Huh. Well, at least I can please her when I talk to her in for her job, so that's something, I guess. Thanks for seeing me to work. No, no. Oh, listen, I was super bored the other day, so I went to Don Quixote, right? <laughs> that place is awesome for passing the time. I got so wrapped up in shopping that I was late for work. Not sure if you should be happy about that, but hey. <laughs> right? You could kill hours in there. I'll drop by when I'm in the mood to procrastinate. 
Ha <laughs> ha! We'll have to go together next time. That being said, I do enjoy some a spot of window shopping myself. Sometimes it's just nice to go out and have no I you know, like no plan to actually buy something. Oh god, it's the worst when I go into like used game stores though. Because it's like, I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm not gonna buy anything. I have a budget. I need to make sure that I don't go over the budget. And then, BAM! Right there, red game. And then my soul screams at me that I need it. Oh, the worst. The worst ever was when there was a copy of Rule of Rose. That was going for... Uh, it was something ridiculous. It was like £220. And for people who don't know, Rule of Rose is a very rare game. Especially in Europe. Like, it's like seeing a unicorn. And I was in university. So I was like looking at it, just going... I could get it, but if I get it, I won't be eating for a few weeks. So naturally, I did the smart thing and totally bought it. And No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> no, I did the smart, uh, responsible thing and didn't buy it and uh, made sure that I ate well. Because that's the smart thing to do. Hmm. Getting orange juice and also the fish is still good worth getting those points for. Uh, the dried raffin. Thank you very much. <laughs> Same as always. I wonder what dried raffin tastes like. I've, played, I've tried a lot of seafood, but I don't think I've ever tried ray. I don't know. Something about it would... Something about dried ray. I don't know. Something wants to tell me the texture would be kind of rubbery, and I don't know why. Oh, hey, I wanted to ask, what's hot in Camarocho these days? I figured you're the guy to ask. You literally asked me last time, and I knew no- See, I still know nothing. I'm sorry to say that I literally got nothing. Hmm? What's with the pensive look? The final round of the auditions coming up. And? Are you worried? It's a fashion test. Like, we gotta coordinate an outfit to show we got taste, not just looks and a nice body. Wow, they test for that sort of thing too? <sighs> they said to show up in my cutest outfit, but I don't really know what to pick. <laughs> hmm, so you're mulling it over right now. Gotcha. No, no. What kind of look do you think I should go with? I want to hear your opinion. Hmm... For fashion? Honestly, for modeling... Probably something that shows some skin. <laughs> like a camisole or a mini skirt or something. Uh... Kind of misses the point. Like I say, they already saw my body. Now they want to see my fashion sense. Huh? What can I say? I like what I see. Mm... You're such a perv. Yeah. It's nothing dirty. I just think it looks good. If you got it, flaunt it, right? The job's a fashion model, not a pinup model. You know, there's a difference, right? <sighs> Look, just forget I asked. Well, that got really awkward really quickly. Cool! Phew, I'm thirsty. Mind if I order something like some white champagne? Yeah, not right now, if that's okay. What happened with those guys who were hitting on you? Are you they still hounding you? Nah, that got resolved. Thanks for asking, though. Huh? Resolved? How? They came in here as customers. What? What happened then? I was creeped out at first, but then we got to talking. Turns out they're from Osaka, too. We actually had a lot in common. Really? What, really? Even made a Majon date. And you're not worried at all? I can't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Akiyama. They're decent guys, I swear. Or are you just jealous? I mean, why would I be jealous? It's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Oh, getting defensive. You're not very good at lying, are ya? Yeah. I mean it. Look, I'm just worried about you, okay? 
because you like me? <laughs> if I say yes, will you be careful? Yeah. Aw, now you're getting evasive. Haha, <laughs> but thanks for caring enough to worry. Sheesh. No, no. So, what do you get me to celebrate if I pass the final rounds of additions? Oh, what? I hadn't really thought about it. You better start. You gotta figure it out ahead of time if you want to be ready to surprise me later. <laughs> Wait, but if you know, won't? But you know I'm already getting you something, so doesn't that ruin the surprise anyway? I'll keep that in mind. What do you want? <laughs> Coming up with that is your job. Consider a test. Surprise me. Hmm. Well, you want a surprise? I've got the perfect idea. D -d totally, 100%, not lying. You'll never see it coming. You'll never see it coming. Okay, come on, so sorry. That was the most obvious thing I could have done. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Wouldn't be a surprise if I told you now, would it? Pass your audition and find out. <laughs> You're bluffing. So what if I am? You're welcome to think that. Won't know for sure until you've passed, will you? Ah, oh, you're such a tease. Hey, but now I gotta pass, don't I? All right, just wait and see. <laughs> this might be a good time to leave, but I got money, and I still got those bits of hearts. Yep, I'm gonna stay. All the way, Akiyama. Hmm. Well, the question is... Am I confident enough to try and get those points? The answer is no. No, I'm not. So I'm going to order some more juice. <laughs> and some more dried raffin, please. <laughs> nice and rubbery textured. Probably. I don't know. One of these days, I like to go to a hostess club at least once, just to know. I've been to a maid cafe before. Can't say it's really my type of thing, but the one we went to was super over the top, so maybe if I was able to go to a classy one. Would be interesting to try out, you know? What were you like as a kid, Erica? Like a mini version of you now, or were you different? <laughs> No way, totally different. I was all serious and shy, kept to myself. My folks were super strict, so I was always going to lessons for something or other. Hard to imagine, huh? Huh, a little, yeah. So, what changed? Hmm, I fell in with a badass crowd in the mi middle school, I guess. I was totally the good kid up until then. So, you're happy with how you turned out now? Oh, for sure. If it weren't for them, I'd probably still be stuck in my little box in Osaka right now with no big dreams of muddling. <laughs> Maybe so. It's great to see that you found the goal at the end of the path you've chosen. What about you? You like where you're getting? Oh, sorry, what? Oh, you like where you're at? <laughs> hmm. Well, there have been a lot of ups and downs, but my life now is definitely a better fit than it used to be. Oh yeah? Gotta love a guy who's proud of the life he's chose. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of the life I chose too. Sitting here making Yakuza vids. I'm being serious when I say that, by the way. This is always awesome. So, are you like a masochist? Excuse me, what? Huh? Wait, wait, what? Yeah, what Akiyama said. Most of the guys who ask for me are age and occupations all over the board, but they all got that in common. Wow, so what, they want you to slap them around? Mm. Eh, more like they want me to tease them, I guess. The sassy Kanzai accent helps too. <laughs> Lots of guys get all happy when I get drunk and start punching heads. That's wild. You also mentioned that before. Wait, you telling me that's happened, like, here? At work? <laughs> a 
Why don't you punch me? Just sucker punch me right now and find out. If it feels good, I'd hate to miss out. Haha, <laughs> I'll pass. What? Wait, why? You hit your other customers, right? Yeah, because I know they won't hit back. You totally strike me as a super sadist. I can practically smell it on you. What is this conversation we're having right now? You know what? I take back what I said. Maybe I don't want to go to a hostess club. Yeah. Aw, I won't bite. Go on, give me a knock. Nothing to be scared of. Yeah. Ah, even the sound is totally threatening. <laughs> You'll totally take revenge, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Abuse to customers and woman is funny. <laughs> God, that's so terrible. <laughs> what sorts of dates do you go on, Mr. Akiyama? Recently? Very, very few. You've been the only one. Well, that sort of... Well, what sort of things do you like to do? Uh, anything, really. Maybe catch a movie, grab a bite to eat, that sort of thing. <laughs> Boring. What about you, then? Where would you go on a date? <laughs> Amusement park, all the way. This is not exactly original either, is it? No, but it's fun. What's your favorite ride? Oh, great, I hate amusement parks. But knowing you, you probably really like that top option. Anything that makes you scream, I love a good haunted house. Don't those go kind of hand in hand? But, well, okay, I know there's a difference, but still. Remember what I said. What she wants to hear. <laughs> Anything that makes you stream. Roller coasters, free fall rides, you name it. Uh, seriously? Me too. See? I knew it. Nice. Sweet. If we end up going to a park together, we can ride coasters non-stop all day. Non-stop? That might be a little bit much. <laughs> no such thing as too much. You don't go get to go very often, so you gotta get your coaster time in. Ah, yes, nothing like standing in a line for multiple hours just to have about five minutes of fun. I am not an amusement park type person. Sounds like I'm in for some thrills. And some lines. It's going to be that time. Oh, right. Come on back soon. Oh, I will. You got a fancy business card. My favorite? And also, I think I've maxed her out, which is... I don't know what m this means now. Huh. Miss Akiyama? I love ya. <laughs> you too. I'll... I'll see you soon. But wait, which which type of love you was that? There's there's multiple. That can mean anything in Japan in Japanese. Well, she said dicey, so. Hmm. God, I used to know the differences because there's like there's mult there's, for what I understand, saying I love you in Japan, like um, there's multiple ways to say it, and there's multiple different levels depending on the way to say it. It's basically our version of going like, hey, I like you, versus, hey, I love you, you know? But they don't really have a word for, like, the in-between, so they just have different words for love. It's very, in it's very interesting and a little bit confusing. Anyway. I had a date with Destiny today. I found a really cute dress out shopping, but it's a bit too expensive for me. Didn't think I could talk them down, but I tried anyway, and they gave me half off. I guess bargaining is my Kenzai blood. Nothing like a good bargain. Hmm. Does sound like a good skill. Teach me. Teach me, Erika Sensei. I would like to know these skills that you've got. Oh? 
Why, hello? Mr. Akiyama, I... I'm sorry. What? Why? What's wrong? You warned me, but I... I can't. I... W wait, s slow down. Start from the beginning. Hey, pal, you Akiyama then? Huh? Who the hell are you? What have you done to Erica? Shit. Whoa there, don't get excited now. Erica here said she was a real mash on pro, so the boys and I invited her out to play. Next thing we know, she's down a million points. Then she goes saying that she can't cover her costs. Uh, a million? What kind of scam are you running? How does a person get in for a million points? Ah, uh, that hurts, buddy. We just like things a bit more exciting, bumped up the rate a bit. But Erica was all for it. Said she was on a roll to fit kit fit to kick all of her asses. All right, I get the picture. I'll cover her. Where are you now? Oh, business, ain't ya? I like that. We'd be waiting at the Orchid Palace. Ah, shit. I'm worried for Erica. Better hurry to the Orchid Palace. Usually, if this is a Yakuza game, this would be the time where I use my fist fighting skills in order to solve this situation. However, I can't do that in this game. How the hell am I going to solve this? Anyway, I'm going to maybe prepare for some things. Give me a sec, guys. If I can't use my fists, I'm going to have to use other methods. The match on place should be, yep, yeah, right here. You, uh, hey, I'm begging you here. Will you take this, please? You got a lucky Majo marker. <laughs> what is it? They told me I wouldn't add Majo if I used it, but I never thought. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? It's not that dangerous, is it? What kind of luck ain't right? It's not humanely possible. So I started getting scared. I'm off to get an exorcism right now. But seriously? What, did you land the nine gates or something? <laughs> That's not the half of it. Look, I want nothing to do with that thing. If you want to win, use it. It's your problem now. Uh, hey, well, just a minute. Sounds pretty potent. Maybe I'll give it a try if I'm worried about losing. <clears throat> well, I was convenient. I actually went to the save point to see if I had an item that helps with my luck, and turns out I didn't. Now I do, though. Miss Akiyama, I'm so sorry. I heard everything. Why do you take on a crazy bet like that? I... I thought I could win, but they cheated. That had to be cheating. Now, just a second, Hotster. Just because you went and lost more than you got, that don't make us cheaters. You came to cover a debt, buddy. Let's get down to business. My thoughts? Exactly. Have a seat, and let's get the first round started. Huh? The hell are you talking about? I'm going to play in Erica's stead and make her make back her losses. You have a problem with that? Hell yeah, got a problem! What kind of idiot's going to go for that? Then how about we sweeten the pot? Forget about rates. Winner takes double Erica's debt. Double? Wait. Two million points? You serious? Deadly. Heh! It's your funeral, pal! Well, so, so much for trying to be careful, then. Let's get to it! Don't go think about running off now! <laughs> well, I'm ready when you are. Wait, I don't have enough points to play. Need at least 25,000! Uh, just a second. I remember someone I got to take care of right away. God damn it! Look, it's fine. I'm just- I'm, I'm just gonna get some points. It's okay. Um, I need to... Shit, I need to, um... Buy match on sticks? You need sticks to play match on. How many do you want to buy? Each point is worth 1,000. 25,000 points, I guess. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Alright, now I'm ready to do this. 
still, better think this through. If I can't win, it's better to just back out now. Maybe I should give that lucky Marshall Martyr I got out front to try. Yeah, I'ma use it. No harm in asking for a little divine boost. The lucky Marshall Martyr glowed eerily. Or maybe it's just the lighting. Look, video game, I'm already dealing with haunted um, sewer systems slash tunnels. If there are divine powers at work here, then I'm gonna take all the luck I can get. Ready when you are. Remember when this game was about zombies? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Alright, time to play some Majron, I guess. Guess I'll start the game. Hope everyone knows how to play Mahjong because we're just gonna get straight into it. Alright, let's do this. Go! Eh, I win. And it really is that easy. Oh, give me all those points. Guess that means I win. Th this ain't possible. Y yeah, you're cheating. Admit it. On an automatic table. I was just lucky. But that ain't... Erica's pretty good herself. I assume you free read the game. And judging by your expressions, I guess that's true. I won't take your money. In return, none of you are ever going to mess with Erica here again. Understood? Fine. Mr. Akiyama. Well, that should settle things. And that's the end of that chapter. Also, I guess that was also Majon for this playthrough. <laughs> oh, man, I feel kind of bad. Maybe I should have at least shown the rules. <laughs> just so people know what the hell just happened. Because no one ever actually knows how to play Majon. I'm so sorry, Mr. Akiyama. Eh, don't sweat it. Even the most skilled player is going to have their unlucky days. That's Majron. Just try to pick your battles, yeah? But you just... Me? Eh. If I had lost that round, I'd have shut up and paid. Uh, what? That many points? How could ya? Oh, it'd have been fine. I'm doing alright for myself in that department. I yeah? <laughs> I never knew. Come to think of it. There's a lot I don't know about ya. But I knew I could call ya. That's... You come to my rescue. Erica. I want to learn more about you, Mr. Akiyama. I want you to know more about me, too. Like, how you're an avid gambler? <laughs> well, yeah. But, but no, so much more, too, I mean. I guess you better start talking. Anything you want to tell me, I'm eager to hear. That's the spirit. Damn, girl, you took me to the pink heart dimension. No way, you were seriously a banker? You're not the only one making surprising discoveries tonight. Ah, go on, you'd kind of make me blush. Oh, I wanted to ask, fancy a game of match on sometime soon? What? Still haven't learnt your lesson? I was just start uh, watching before. I want in on the action. I'm game, but the winner, uh, but the loser has to kiss the winner. Wait, does that mean you win either way? Busted, huh? <laughs> you really w are one fast talker. I like that about you, though. Like a like a lot about you, actually. You're the best, Mr. Akiyama. 
Hostess, stop story cleared. When you get an email from her, you'll be able to enjoy co-op battles with her as your partner. Talk to Igita in Kamiyama's truck to see if he has anything that might help you help the hostess combat the zombie horde. Are you actually kidding? That's my rule. Oh, and I get a lot of experience points. Oh my god, doing the hostesses is totally worth it. Holy jeez. I'm gonna go check that out right now. I didn't know that was the reward I got. How the hell does that come up in conversation? Hey, so, uh... We've been heading out for a while now, and we, we, we didn't know, to each uh, know each other pretty damn well. That being said... My secretary is kind of stuck in the quarantine zone. Quarantine zone? Yeah, yeah, the quarantine zone. Just bear with it. And there are kind of hordes of the undead. Here's a shotgun. Let's go to town. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Did she buy that? It's Akiyama. It's Erica. I just want to say you rod. You really put my mind at ease. So much for being my the calming hostess, huh? Now it's my turn to pay you back big time. Come see me soon and I'll make all your troubles go away. Be seen ya. Erica. That was a nice picture. Cute pose. But apparently... Well, that's a spoiler and a half. But it's fine, because now we got this. I could also just completely change her costumes. Oh my god. Huh. I feel like something a bit more... battle-oriented would be better. But... I guess her street clothes will do. It's a nice... It's a nice coat. Too bad it's going to be caked in blood. But more... Uh, but also... I cannot change her weapons. Really? Wait, what was that description? Oh yeah, now this is what I'm talking about. You'll, you'll be waving sayonara to them zombies with this piece. <laughs> oh my god, I can give her a grenade launcher! Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, this is great. Well, you know what? I am going to yeah, I'll give you I'll give you the handgun DX. Why not? Sure. I had no idea that this was the reward I got for doing this. Holy crap. Like I said, totally worth it. What's all those experience points? Well then, that was a fun little venture. And with that, how many points do I have? I have 12 points, Jesus Christ. I guess with that, I should probably spend some of that, huh? Hmm. I still have some new moves to get, however... There's also some basic stuff that I really should try to get more of also, so... To increase my accessory slots to buy another point, that would be great. Uh, unarmed expertise, iron arm... Boost the knockback ability of your brawling attacks. That does sound super useful. I will be getting that. And two more points. I don't think I can afford anything right now. But yeah. That was absolutely worth it. And guess what? This may be the end of the episode. But we still got one more hostess with Akiyama to do. So that's what we're going to be doing next time on Yakuza Dead Souls. Uh, I want to say it right now. If there's anything that people want me to do, uh, which is worth showing off, there are certain things that I've, I already have planned, so don't you worry, but now that I know that there is things that I can straight up miss, if anyone doesn't mind telling me what some of those things are without being spoilery, if they can avoid it, then that would be much appreciated. I'll, I'll, I will of course do my own research as well, just to make sure, but I need to be at least a little bit more careful, so... Going forward, we'll still be doing the next Hostess, and I will see you guys next time for when we do that. If you like this episode, remember to do all that junk I keep on saying to do. Stay safe out there. See you for now. <laughs>